Hey guys, it is your girl, Madison Sky Makeup, coming back to you with another YouTube tutorial. Thank you guys for joining me today. We are going to jump into a, another makeup look. It's probably going to be a bright one today. I wore my bright colors just to show how bright I'm getting. Not really. Um, oh, my lips. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wish I might want to tell me these lips was that dusty before I started the intro but don't forget to like comment and subscribe leave your comments below i am always interested in hearing what you guys have to say and if you are willing to try out the makeup look right along with me or later on i'd love to see those pictures if you share them with me tag me at uh, madison sky mba on instagram and yeah let's jump into this look <music> All right, so first I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to go ahead with my Dry Cosmetics Brow Bar to go and fill these brows in. All right. I feel like, you know, my brows are flourishing a bit since quarantine. Like, I haven't really been um, keeping them shaped cleaned up maybe that's what i've been doing i've been keeping them cleaned up a little bit up under the brow just a little bit but i haven't really you know taken a good whacking and, and anything to them and i feel like you know they out here trying to thrive right along with my edges just a little bit The brow goes that I really, really love, and I'm sure you guys follow her makeup shade. Well, her brows are always so manicured, and ugh, they stand up on the tension. Like, they just, they brow goes. I'm trying to get this. Mine got this little, like this one right here. It's my problem, bro. She don't never, she got some hair in the front. I would just stand her up, but that tail right there, suspect. Okay, now I'm gonna take a bit of foundation and clean up under the brows. We're not gonna spend all day on these brows, so we're not gonna do that. Concealer on the eyes. This eyeshadow look just a bit, just a bit. Okay, so for this look, we are going to travel back in time a bit. Going back in with my old makeup addictions cosmetic flame and love palette. Don't judge me, judge your mama because this one has fallen out. Um, we're going to go in with this color right here. I think it's Amethyst, this one right here. And the star of the show for today will be coming from this palette as well. It's going to be this, this blue. Um, never mind the residue from this shadow that has uh, taken over. But this is this is what we're going to play with today as far as the star of the show. But again, we're going to go in with Am Am Amethyst. That's what it's called. Place that right in the crease. Go ahead again, stamp that color in. Maximum payoff. Now we are going to dip into the Julius Place Nubian 2 palette. I need to get this Cleopatra color right here, that blue. And we're gonna place that in the corner of the eye. And then that out. I went down to a smaller brush, more compact brush. We are going to place that right there. Oh. 
I'm going to drag it out just a bit. Okay, you got to be mindful when you place these colors because it can look a mess real quick, real soon. I know, I know, I know. Just another palette. It's the it's my Ray Ray palette, and I wanted to grab this really pretty green, it's a matte green, from there, and kind of deepen this blue. Yep, I told you we playing in color today, sis. We playing in color today, sis. This ain't the look for you. It's okay. It's, it's not the look for me. Um, but we, I said we just gonna play some colors today. That's what we doing. Packing that right there in the corner. Okay, so back to our Makeup Addictions palette. We are going in with that dope color called Belize. What did I say it was first? Yeah, I don't know what I said. I probably didn't say it at all. Boy. Belize people, that's what we're going with. This this is no more. It's color. That's color no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Baby. Y'all see it. Now that's the eye color. I don't know where anybody is going. Maybe Carnival. It's a little too late, Carnival. But next year, you'll be ready. You will be ready. This is giving you a whole lot of practice time for next year. But you'll be ready. Right now, we're going to go in with some eyeliner. And wing this baby out because she deserves a wing. This uh deserves a wing, baby. And I mean all flats, extra crispy wing, okay? So now we're going in with some lashes. These are um some pretty significant size lashes. Um, but you know, my eyes can handle. A lot of things i have large eyes and um and this is a bold look okay so we cannot go minimal on the lashes all right so we're gonna clean up under the eye with a little micellar water Anything that has fallen out, we clean it up right there. Now we're gonna go in with the face. We'll finish the under eye shortly. We're gonna go in with the top brown. I'm gonna hit it with my Max Stroll cream. I'm gonna just place that right on the cheeks and the forehead. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe concealer in the 4.25. Place that there. And then I'm gonna go in a little bit with my NARS concealer in the color. I don't think I can say this word. Oh, it's this one. Wow. Think I'm all need. And just place that right there towards the center. Now I'm gonna go in with my Julius Place number seven concealer. I hit the face. Yeah, I'll hit the face. That's what I said. Hit the face. Start blending up under the eye first.
Yeah, about to see this whole look come together. Cause she was looking real space age pimping for a second. You know, that's how people be looking when they say, Can you just see my eyes? Can you just see my eyes? No, I can I cannot just see your eyes. It's a whole it's a, it's 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 a whole uh, package deal. Like no, I can't just do your eyes and have you walking out with your skin not not looking together. You know, it's the overall package. So, you know. Now I'm going in with my Elf Camo Sponge Dampened. She is. We're going to blend the rest of that color to the elbow. You know, blend it together. Blend it together. Unify. U N I T Y. Y'all see how the color came on me together. Yes, I think we should do it. How does that smell? Mm -hmm. bringing a look together. A look. And I'm going to go with my Uma Beauty. I'm going to do a little bronzing, contouring, just to bring some depth into the face. Just hit the top of this, just a little. Lightly contour. Sit face. Just open and change it up. Get around these edges. Here, I'm gonna go in with my makeup forever, ever matte little duo, a camo spot. Is that anything? Yeah, I did. See what I did? See what I did? Added a little brightness under the eye while also, and in conjunction with setting said area. Boom. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. She did that. So, people, it's browsing time and my Morphe bronzer will be doing the trick. I'm gonna go back in with that same beauty bakery brush. Just add some warm. Yep, just a little warm. Cause she was a little cold. I wanna warm her up. Yeah. That's what we wanna do. You need to give her a little double chin. A little extra sculpting. Oh, I wanna do get that neck. And while I'm here, what I wanna do is go ahead and put this nose together. And I got some of it together. You know, when I was doing the blending with my eyeshadow, that's why I go in with a warm color because it allows you to get your nose together. It's like a pre, a pre requisite of, of such. Maybe now, what it did, it, it helped me to kind of get that together already. I always start off by going up into the brow, and that's okay. You know, wherever you lay it down first is the heaviest. Where the product placement is. I want to finish the face pretty much. So let me go in with a little blush. I'm gonna take one of these eyeshadow colors. It's a little reddish, orangish, something. Yeah, that that's what I want. Okay. You see that? Not too much, but just enough. So now we're gonna take care of under the eye. We're gonna start off with this blue first. Here we go. Uh, put that there, just for that. I probably should have laid down a bit of translucent. Let me do that. Cause you can just brush it off. Right? Let them meet and let them have a good meet and greet up here, okay? Make 
again, I can drag mine down a little bit further because my eyes, it doesn't close off my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with that vibrant color. That color. I hit up. Right there, that's where I wanted to hit them, boom. Okay, I'm gonna hit the bottom lashes with a little, little, what is this, scandalized rimmel. Now for the lip, we're gonna go in with my BFF4. Get that good outline going. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mostly fill in a lip with this liner. I think we're gonna do this color Man Eater by the Lip Bar. Now I'm going to top it off with the gloss. And the gloss is, what is this? Peach Bellini. All right, guys, I mean, you know, other than that, go ahead and set your face. Push that into the skin. And she is done. This is the look. I love the way that this look came out. Um, this blue situation is you know it's really it's really speaking to me it's like a, again it's not anything that i would normally wear out but i mean it's a wearable look it's something that you can make wearable and if you're comfortable going out with bright bold colors then by all means like be creative be you enjoy it i just wanted to come to you and uh, play in this color today and show you how it could be wearable for those who are not aware um and hopefully you were able to learn follow along and you can recreate it i would love to see this look i hope you enjoyed this time with me guys i enjoyed spending this time with you and until next time bye